Let's start with the nerves of the brachial plexus. Here is our brachial plexus. And remember that a, a plexus is going to be a group of nerves. So we have a bundle right here. And then if we were to follow one of these onward, those would become individual nerves. So this specifically would be the right brachial plexus. And if we were to start on this side, this one right here is going to be the right ulnar nerve. And the way you can remember that is that this is going to run uh, on the elbow side. The funny thing about the ulnar nerve is that when you hit your funny bone, you're actually smishing your ulnar nerve. And that's what gives you that real zingy type of pain. So why do we call it a funny bone? I have no idea. I didn't make this stuff up. Then right here in the middle, this is actually the median nerve. We have a median nerve as well. Just think it's, it's gonna run down the middle. And then our right radial nerve is this larger one. And you notice that you can't actually see it as well. So again, these two skinny ones, this is going to be the on this specimen, the right ulnar. This one in the middle is the right median. And this is the right radial nerve. Let's now take a look at a nerve that comes off of the lumbar plexus. So if you recall in humans, the lumbar plexus is in the lumbar region L1 to L4 and the femoral nerve is going to be one of the nerves that comes off of that plexus. So here in our specimen, we just want you to know where that femoral nerve is. Um, the femoral nerve runs on the anterior side of the lower extremity. So whether you're looking at a picture or a model of a human, you need to look on the anterior side. That's the best view for that. And on our cat specimen here, this is that femoral nerve. One way we know that it's the femoral nerve is it's running in the region of the thigh, what we would call the thigh on the human, and then it's really close to that femoral artery. Okay, so your knowledge of the anatomical regions serves you really well here. So again, on this specimen, we're looking at the left femoral nerve. Now let's take a look at uh, the major nerve that comes off of the sacral plexus. And remember, the sacral plexus on a human is gonna be inferior to the lumbar plexus. It'll be um, around levels L4 to S4. And the major nerve that comes off of the sacral plexus is the sciatic nerve. And so I flipped our kitty cat over. This is the caudal uh, caudal end and this very large nerve right here is that sciatic nerve. So for human models or pictures, you're going to want to look for the sciatic nerve on the posterior side of the lower extremity. This is posterior for a cat as well because remember on all fours it's on the back side. So this, uh, this particular one that we're looking at is going to be the left sciatic nerve. Want to stay up to date on my latest videos? Please hit like and subscribe. And don't forget to check my Instagram page at The Anatomy Gal. See you next time.